Welcome back, everyone. Kyson has his follow-up for his ENT appointment. If you have watched our other videos, then you know that he had a tongue and lip tie and he had it revised about a month ago now. I will link the video of how that appointment went and everything in the description box below if you want to watch that. I guess the doctor always does follow-ups with these. Um, so we're gonna do that today. And then I think we're gonna run to Target, look for a few things, kind of look around. Tomorrow, he has his pediatric cardiology appointment. And I will touch base a little bit more on why we have one of those appointments, maybe on our way to the appointment tomorrow. And by myself, Kyle has some stuff to do at work today, but tomorrow he should be with me. You can see little Kyson's back there. Um, he stayed awake the entire ride, which is Odd. and he kind of got fussy at one point but he's doing okay so we are going to head into this dreaded place so wish me luck that this appointment goes well everything should be fine as he is nursing um, without the shields now which is amazing like that was our ultimate goal with this thing or with having the revision done um, so I think that his follow-up will go well, but we'll see. See you inside. Hi, handsome. Look at you, big boy. You kicked your shoes off. Imagine that. All right, let's get you back dressed. Sorry for the weird angle. Kyson is eating before we go into Target and the sun is in our face. So this blank is up here. We just left his ENT appointment for like his follow-up with his doctor. I told you guys that I would mention to him everything that happened once we got home last time. And I did. I told him that he had a, a bruise across his cheek and burns on his lips. And he goes, yeah, that happens. And then, of course, mentioned again, the first thing he said when he walked in the room was, man, he's still tiny. I said, yep, he's still a preemie. Um, and then, of course, he asked where he is on the growth chart. And I wanted to tell him it was none of his business, but um, I told him, I said that he's on the preemie growth chart and he's in like the 80th percentile there. He said that he was surprised that he was in the 80th percentile and that maybe when we start him on solid foods that he'll chunk up a little bit and that we should probably be doing, you know, we should be checking with the doctor and making sure that we can start those here soon. And while we do plan on doing baby lead weaning and starting that here like relatively quickly, I don't feel like he should have made that comment. He should leave his doctoring to what he does and not make a comment about my child's size. Despite the rude doctor and his ever rude comments, um, he did say that everything looks great as far as his tongue and lip tie and that we shouldn't have any issues 
of those growing back in the future just because of how well they look. I think it's been like this past like week or so that Kryson's actually let me look at them. He wouldn't let me look at them prior, but I can see a huge difference in his lip tie. I can't see too much in his tongue tie because he wants to cut his tongue for me, but um, he's he's looking good. We're, we're happy with the results. We're not happy with the doctor, but but you live and you learn and you know what doctors you'll never go and see anymore. And he is definitely one of them. Yeah, we are at Target now. Uh, and once he's done eating, I'm going to go in and look around. I mean, it's Target, so I can always find something to do and or get. I also wanted to be able to put this on my stroller. Sorry. Eh, I'm holding him with the other hand, so it's really awkward. I wanted to be able to put this on um, my stroller and see how it looks and test it all out. I'm hoping that he'll let me put him in at least like the bassinet piece of the stroller. Don't think he's going to let me put him in the car seat just because he's like falling asleep right now. Uh, I just, I still want to see how it looks. <laughs> you guys, you have to look at him. Hang on a second. He is out. Got some good milk and he's all good to go. I think he's ready for a shopping trip into Target. We are at Kyson's cardiology appointment. We got here early. Yeah. Which never happens. 30, 30 minutes early. early. Yeah, that's it. It's usually 30 minutes late. I know, but when it comes to this place, like, okay, so we're in the, shut up. We are in the town where we, where we, where I had Kyson. Um, so this is like, literally we're across the street from where I had all of my OB appointments. And ironically enough, like funny story, when we had our first OB appointment for Holden, this is where we thought <laughs> that we had to go because this is the address that they gave us. So we walked in and they're like, no, you're in the wrong place um, and directed us across the street. So what's the odds that we would end up back here? Um, Kyson finally fell asleep maybe 15 minutes ago, but is awake now, so I will probably feed him before we go inside. Um, the reason why he has a cardiology appointment um, is because I have, with my autoimmune condition, I have the positive SSA antibody. It is known to cause congenital heart defects um, in babies. We had multiple fetal echocardiograms when I was pregnant, like, I don't know. Every other week. Yeah. It, like, honestly, we had probably close to 10 of them. Yeah, we had a lot of them. Um, which we have begun to like, or we began to love the cardiologist over there. Um, but anyways, they had to do one more EKG and ultrasound on his heart before we left the NICU. Um, when he was obviously born and he, I don't even remember what was open. There was a part. It's like a little hole. I don't even know. I don't know what it is, but it's like a little hole. They said that typically closes. Yeah. Um, within, you know, for six months. They said that it's common that when they see like a newborn baby that it's open. Um, but we had to do a follow up to make sure that it did in fact close. I know they said that if it's not closed today, um, then it should definitely be, be closed by the time that he's like three or four. It shouldn't pose any issues. Um, we're just here to check up on it. Huh? You want to say hi to everyone? Say good morning. He's looking pretty snazzy today. 
And his little duck boots on and suspenders. I have a sweater for him and the diaper bag, but I just didn't put it on him for the drive. You want to eat before we go in? Okay. See you inside, guys. <laughs> have no idea. <laughs> Yay, Bubba, that's your good thing if you can't see it. Well, let's do this so we can take a nap. Oh, that's a vlog too. <laughs> we are back home from Kyson's appointment. Long day. Yeah, I don't know why it felt like such a long day when it really, it really, wasn't. It really wasn't. <laughs> um, so they started with an EKG, which honestly, it took longer Echo for her. Echocardiogram. All right. It took longer for her to put the stickers on there and take them off than the thing did itself. Yeah, it was pretty quick. <laughs> Definitely the fastest doctor appointment I've ever been to. Yeah. Tyson was fine with that, didn't have any sort of issues. And then they came and they got him for the ultrasound. And he did not want me holding him. He did not want to lay down. He didn't want to lay this way, didn't want to lay that way. The, the guy was getting ready to give him um, some sugar water. And then Kyle took him and he started scanning him and he like saw the ultrasound on the screen and he was like mesmerized. So then he was fine. Like, for a while. Yeah, he was fine for the rest of that. We kept having to kind of entertain him um, to keep him happy because that took a little while. Yeah. Like the ultrasound did. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. And then we get back to our room. We're in there for like, I don't know, five minutes. Yeah. And the guy comes back in and he goes, hey, uh, what's the name of the patient? And he had messed up and done the ultrasound mm -hmm. under a different person's name. <laughs> so so had, round two. Yeah, we had to go back in there. And Kyson was like happy-go-lucky at this point and was like laying on the thing, was totally okay until like the last few minutes. And then he got really irritated and was screaming. And then I just had to play some dots oh, yeah. with music on my phone and he looked at it. And... If you guys have like younger kids, if you've ever, what, it's, it's a, it's a white screen with black dots. Yeah, and red, the other and red dots. And red dots, yes. White and screen that with white or white screen with black and red dots that move. Yes, and it plays like this music. He like is mesmerized by it. He can be screaming, and as soon as you turn it on, his eyes get like really wide, and he just like sits there and watches all of them. It's actually pretty funny. And so he was fine after that. We went back, waited for the doctor. Ironically enough, the doctor that. Um, we saw today was the same doctor that did all of my fetal echoes. Um, so he saw Kyson's heart when he was in my belly and he saw Kyson today. Um, but everything looks great. The little hole at the top of his heart that they were mildly concerned about has closed up. Um, he said that he has a little bit of a murmur, but that he sees that in like 99% of healthy children. So he's not worried about it at all. He gave him a clean bill of health um, and he said that he shouldn't have any issues with um, sports activities in the future. Yep, future all star. So he obviously he does not need to see us back. Kyson is all good to go. His heart looks great, healthy. Hopefully the last time we see a doctor in North Carolina. Oh my gosh, that's right. Do you go me and you want to a vlog? My puppy is easy. <laughs> Okay, that was <laughs> gross. <laughs> it's weird. So they can eat all they want like while we're gone because we just leave them out. But <laughs> but they don't eat. They yeah. literally wait for us to go home before they yeah. eat. It's like they want us to know that they that they were the ones that ate and the food and drank the water. So they wait. Also, Elodie's okay. really, really weird and will only like eat her food if she can take it to carpet or fabric or something so she will like grab a mouthful of food and then drop it all on the carpet um or a sweatshirt or a blanket or <laughs> anything of that sort and then eat it off of there 
So, and if you like put her in a room without anything and her food bowl, she literally won't eat her food. She'll wait until she can do that. I did weigh him at his appointment and pounds, 13 ounces. I was shocked Pew. to see that he was under 12 pounds, but I don't, it could be their scale too. So we'll see how accurate that is at his six month appointment in like a week, a little over a week. And then he was 24 and a quarter inches long. <laughs> Why do you make this much <laughs> allergy noise? Because I'm not in your heart. I'm not your <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I did get a really good deal at Target. If you were watching their like Cyber Monday deals, then they were having they were having some sort of sale on their like beauty products. They were having an additional percentage off if you did like their pickup, their like drive up, whatever. After like my Target Circle rewards or whatever kickback, and um, I had like a gift card with a few dollars on it, I ended up getting like thirty five dollars worth of products for thirteen dollars, and I got a five dollar gift card. It's not bad at all. I know. Yeah, some shampoos and conditioner, some heat spray, which spilled all over the bag. And the good thing about Target Pickup is that if they run like out of stock of your item, like if they go to pick up your item and they don't have it in stock, then they will ship that item to your house for free, even if it's under like their shipping amount. Convenience. Oh yeah. So I have hair scrunchies on the way. They're the little spirally ones. But they were out of stock of them. So. Exciting scrunchies. <laughs> oh, if you if you saw in the uh, the clip from Sam's, that jumper is Kyson's Santa present. It was on sale. <laughs> it was on sale. So I have been looking for that specific jumper everywhere. So. Walmart has been out of stock on it. Amazon's been out of stock on it. Target doesn't carry it. Um, I've literally been looking everywhere. The only place that I could find it was evenflow.com. And it was like 100 and a little, it was right under 110. And then I had to pay for shipping. They had the jumper at Sam's for $74. And I was so excited. So we got it. It was so cute. I, was, I can't wait for him to. And I'll sit in it. So we'll have it all set up for him on Christmas Day. He's napping right now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he naps for another like two hours. Yeah, right. He's going to wake up and I'm going to have to feed him. And then maybe him and I will get to nap. <laughs> Probably not. He'll get to nap right away. Don't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have kittens. Here, I'll show you. Show you a cry There he is. He's still sleeping. We just got home. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Until, Until next time. time.